So, um, I have to make this short intro because, well, I'll just explain. So, me and uh, John from Hi My Name Is Sister J did about a half hour chat on our thoughts on the WonderCon trailer for Green Lantern and what we were excited about and everything. And it turned out really good, it was probably my best video yet. But for some reason, when listening back to it, about 10 minutes in, we're joined by this really loud, annoying, like, tss sound. And I don't know what it is, and I don't know why it's there. It's just really annoying me. I'm going to have to switch Skype recording programs. But the reason I'm making this is asking anyone who knows if they can get rid of that, please comment below or send me a personal message saying either what I can do or saying that you'll be able to help me, and then I'll send you a... Uh, I'll send you a copy of the file, and like you can fix it up for me. If you do this for us, we will be eternally thankful. I'm sure I can get Mr. J to thank you as well. And I will subscribe to you, and I will give you a shout-out on the final video. If I can't find anyone to do this, I will probably end up uploading the really bad quality one. And like people who really want to listen to us talk about it can listen. But I really want to upload this normally, because it was actually probably my best video yet. It was probably better than the first one we did, which was really funny. We make a lot of good jokes and a lot of good points as well. And um, I just really, I really hope I can get this fixed and put up because it's really annoyed me now. So, yeah, um, if anyone can help, please help. If anyone knows anyone who can help, send them this video. Please, just anyone. <laughs> I really, really want to put this video up. So, yeah, here's the first uh, 10 minutes of our conversation before it went a bit high before we went a bit, you know, technically wrong. Alright, so I'm here with, um, hi, my name is Mr. J again, aka John. How's it going, man? It's going pretty good, especially after that amazing, super spectacular, awesome trailer. I couldn't have summed it up better myself. <laughs> that was epic. I was just staring at the screen. So, we're going to do a second thoughts now that the WonderCon trailer's come out. Um, we should cover the f one bit that isn't as good first, and then go on to why we love it so much. The CG, so, yeah, the CG yeah. does need to. Sorry, interrupting you. Oh no, it's okay. Um, like you said, the CG is the only the only problem I have with it is really the CG, which um they're probably working on it as we're talking right now. Yeah, this is a CG. You need this movie needs a lot of CG, so I'm guessing they got. Not to be racist, but Asians in sweatshops <laughs> working on this CG. Yeah, okay. With like a whip, just like, work faster! I know! I think they're going to push this all the way up until like the release of the movie. Cause, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's a lot to do. Like they've been, You can see they've been doing it as you watch the trailer. You yeah. see that some of the characters are really like detailed, like um, Tomari and... Uh, wow, there's that rock guy. Yeah. Who, it's very bad, but there's a lot like that one scene where they say we are the core. There is thousands of lanterns. Like, I know out with this. It's like what we said in the uh, the last thoughts video. They they were going to include the lords, and they did it, and they did it well. I think they yeah. did it. Yeah, as long I as they recognize some lanterns, like the rock guy was uh, Hanu, I think. Yeah, he, he was in. Uh, um, oh, when did I first? I I, I was recently rereading. Um, what's the one after Sinestro? Oh, the Red Lanterns. The Red Lanterns yeah. one. I yeah, was, he was in that. And, um, oh man, there was just so many. I just, if, as long as they touch up the CG, I think we'll yeah. go into why we love it so much now. All right, um, first of all, I want to um, ask, what do you think of Parallax? Oh man, although he doesn't look, you like, know. He's not a bug, but I mean, I thought it was really interesting how they went with the, the smoke in the faces. Yeah, and, but the thing is, is that the whole thing with Parallax is he's. He's fright, isn't he? He's fear. He's fear, it, yeah. Yeah, uh, and that thing was freaking. Well, it was, was just. Scary. I was kind of yeah. scared. That's all. I'm just like, oh wow, that's. Like when that shot where they see it, uh, it's close to the end of the trailer, where it's just him yeah. screaming at a Green Lantern. That was just yeah. freaked me out. So I think, yeah, they got that right. City. Yeah. Where he's, he's just going, and all the people are running. I was. Whew. No, it's just. I think what. They could have butchered Parallax. I didn't even think Parallax was going to be in this. I was like, as soon as... I thought it was Hector Hammond, but now it makes sense. Yeah. Like... It's, it's a secret origin and stuff. Mm. Since they can't get atrocities, they're like, well, we'll still... Yeah. I, th <sighs> I, 
It's it's just so good, and I watched it about three times while we were talking on Skype. Yeah, I've watched it about like three or four times. Yeah, just they could. I I, I like that they've bring Parallax in because they really like if they push all like the Green Lantern. Uh, the, they're really like heavily relying on Jeff Johns stuff here. You can see. Yeah, especially and if this movie gets people to read the comics, they'll read. And Parallax wasn't in there. They're gonna be like, whoa, what are the entities? I mean, they're gonna be confused. Yeah. So it's nice that they kind of made it easier to transition yeah and parallax is by far my favorite because i love sinestro speaking oh, yes. of which sinestro, sinestro. Oh my god <laughs> it's awesome and i love how they're not even hinting that he's a bad guy he's just full on he's the leader and i really like that i yeah, don't think yeah. they're gonna make him a bad guy till like maybe the like a uh, scene after the credits we find out that like he captured parallax or something like yeah. that well man it's it's supposed to be a trilogy so I'm hoping... He might not even be bad until, like, the second movie. I, I mean, know! No if, one's going it, out. <laughs> I, this movie, because I was like, oh, it's a Green Lantern movie. Well, there's been, like, a ton of superhero movies where they've just butchered it. And I was like, oh, well, I'm on... And these two trailers are kind of like, they're really being nice to the fans, like... Yeah, the first trailer was, like, it was good, but it wasn't, like, ooh, I'm super... I'm, I was excited, but I'm not, like, this excited. This trailer made me... Yeah. Because they took some of the footage and turned it into, like, a new trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that just, I'm full force, let's go see this, because this is going to be really good. And I have it, no doubts. And it looks like, as well as being, like, a good Green Lantern movie, it looks like it's going to be, like, an epic action movie, even if you it don't read like comics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to think of a movie, it's kind of like, it's all these different characters and just a bunch of different characters, space it's battles. like that new Star, the 2009 Star Trek, that movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, where you have some of the Earth stuff, but you also have a lot of space stuff. And I really glad there's a lot. It looks like there's gonna, they're gonna spend a lot of time on Oa, which a lot, I'm happy because a lot of people thought it was gonna be based on Earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I, 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 I kind of like uh, about that idea. But Oa is just and and what do you think about the look of Oa? I loved it. Oh yeah, like I love how there's like energy coming out of yeah. the um uh, planet. Just cool. and I love that shot where they all uh, the. They shoot the um... yeah. They shoot the beams in the air. They're like, "We are the corpse. We are the corpse." <laughs> yeah, I liked your um, oh. the, your Twitter post. We are the cops, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I just wanted to see like Ryan just be like, "Bitches." <laughs> oh, I love man. how he was kind of standing there, kind of awkwardly. Like I don't really know what to do. But I I like that because that's kind of in if you look at any origin story, whether it be Secret Origins or anything, he's kind of like, just freaked out at the start, isn't he? Yeah, that's like the only thing. Did you see First Flight? Uh, yeah, yeah, I saw First Flight. Well, that's the only thing I didn't like about that movie, how he just, like, immediately got it. I know, right? No, it made no sense. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> we got to stop saying kinda, that. It didn't make sense how he immediately, like, he's just like, okay, there's aliens, whatever. I like, know. But it seems like he's a little, like, oh, oh okay, there's, there's a ring, there's aliens, oh, jeez. Yeah, like, I know. And he's like, the bit where he's, like, uh, a pink... Alien. Yes, I think Alien uh, gave me this ring. I love his his version of the oath. Yeah. Oh, that that's good because it leads to the lantern. Um, that <laughs> I got from a dying pink alien. <laughs> uh, and um, yeah. It looks like he's not going to kill his brother. That that might yeah, be. Yeah, that that's. So just they at the end, but look, right now it doesn't look like he's going to kill him. So. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Maybe they might just throw that in. But we need to stop doing this. <laughs> we do. Oh man! But um, what I what I thought about this trailer is um something we said back in the first trailer was uh, this it's kind of it's mixing because no, you were saying how he'd be a better uh, guy Gardner. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's like... kind of mixing the jokes and the seriousness. I because the first trailer was really just heavily on the jokes, wasn't it? Well, this was like this was like I love how. The scene where he runs to atmosphere, it's just music. Yeah. I like how, because that kind of seemed right. He shouldn't, there shouldn't have been some stupid, like, tom tom. It's just kind of. <laughs> yeah. I like, because I like how they mix in, because there's still comedy, like, with the uh, the pink alien thing. Yeah, but... pink, and that was, like, the only comedy bit. The rest of it was just, like, scenes, and Tom Ari sounds great, by the way. Jeffrey yeah. Rush. It's I like... funny how they announced him, like, a week ago, but he already had all his voice stuff. Yeah, I know. They were probably keeping a secret. Um, I liked uh, 
oh, what, that scene where he, the lantern glows and blows him back and he suddenly just says the oath. He knows it off yeah. the heart. I, I like how they like did that. He transmitted it to his brain or something. I don't know. That was really cool. Yeah, I liked how they did that and not what they did in First Flight where somehow he just knows the oath. Yeah. Where like, did it, you realize? It, 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 in First Flight, he just, like, knows the oath. Just yeah. all of a sudden. It's just weird. But... Oh, this is gonna be. I if I if this is really good, I'm definitely gonna buy it on Blu-ray because this yeah. looks like a movie you should buy on Blu-ray. And the CG that they have touched up, that looks really good. Like if you would know, it's, it's not even finished, but it looks really good. Even the rock guy doesn't look that bad, but it looks like something, you know. Yeah, yeah. like if you if you look at all the bits where it's not, because obviously you're gonna see like Hal Jordan when he first first comes to Oa, the suit looks weird and the mask. Yeah. But obviously. If you and look when at he that, kind of sits down and the mask comes off, it looks pretty good right there. Like yeah, but um, there's bits where you just look at the most most of the um, the Green Lantern Corps, like uh, the main ones, like.